Today I'm going to show you how to do a firmware update on an 879B LCR meter. The same instructions can be used for the 878B model, but I'm going to show you today with the 879B. I already have the USB connected to my computer, and uh, this particular video will show you how to update for a specific uh, what we call upload module version and to verify this upload module version you first hold down the USB key and then press power on and it's going to show you the version number for this video we're only updating uh, LCR meters with 3.0 if you have something different do not continue further the first step to do is to hold down USB and press power on until you see this display and then you can release the USB key. Leave this display on and making sure that your USB is connected to your PC and then we'll go ahead and go into device manager to confirm which COM port's been assigned for the virtual COM and here I have COM4 as the COM port for this USB connection. I'll just go ahead and close these windows and here I already have a hyper terminal opened up for this update, you can actually use any X modem type of software, but I would recommend using HyperTerminal because it's already included in XP. If you're using Windows 7, there's a, a way to put that on, or you can use XP mode in Windows 7. And you can find more instructions in the PDF that goes along with the firmware file uh, for this update. I'll go ahead and select COM4 and click OK. Here, the COM port settings are very specific. For the baud rate, you want to set it to 38,400. Uh, data bits, leave it as 8. Parity, leave it as none. Stop bit as 1. And flow control, change it to none. Once you have these settings, click Apply and click OK. Now, there's nothing on the screen right now. But right now, at this point, press the key D on your keyboard and it should show update ready. You'll see a bunch of C's being printed out uh, continuously every second or so. This is normal. The next step we do is go to transfer and select send file. Make sure you select send file. Don't, don't select send text file. That would be incorrect. Select send file and you're gonna get this little window here. Below here, this says protocol, select X modem. And for the file, we'll just browse, and this will be included uh, in the update file. And here, I already have it on my desktop for uh, 879, and it's going to update to version 2.1. So I'm going ahead and selecting this. And once I have it here, everything's checked. I'll click send, and this should take about 20 to 30 seconds. Uh, and right now we're actually updating the firmware. So we'll just go ahead and let it finish. Okay, and we're finished. And as you see, it'll say update completed on your screen if it's finished successfully. And on the LCR meter, it will actually turn off by itself. Now, if you want to confirm again the version that you've updated, here we updated version 2.1 and when you press power on it will display 2.1 so we'll just verify that real quick and there you go let me show it again because it went by really quick okay and that should be updated and uh, this is how you do future updates uh, for the firmware of the 879b as well as the 878b